regardless if it's in a bottle or can, I'm going to be reviewing a beer today, guys. Oh, BC's Beer Review, BC's Beer Review. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, BC, and it's time for another episode of BC's Beer Reviews. Well, what's happening, guys? I'm glad to be back with you here again on another episode. And you'll never guess what I got today, man. And since Christmas is coming around, and it's like two days for me here, uh, I'm recording on a Wednesday, and if my math is right, uh, Christmas is Friday, so I've got a few days, and guess what I got? It's New Belgium's Accumulation, see? Now, i never heard of this beer, so, yeah, now, uh, this is a 6.2 ABV, and it's supposed to be a white India Pale Ale, and that's 180 calories, it has 55 IBUs, okay, oh yeah, that is white, wow, I'm dreaming of a... Why Christmas? Now they're talking about the snow, but nothing major. So it's not like your typical Christmas morning that everybody enjoys so much. You know what I mean? So crack goes the beer can. Smelling pretty good, me. Not much of a head here, and they say that. Uh, They, for the hops, the wet part of the hops here is nougat and centennial, okay? And the wet or the dry hops is mosaic and amarillo, okay? Now the malts are pale malts and wheat malts. Now they use a yeast in this. This is an ale yeast that they use in this beer, okay? Now, with the ale yeast, it's for it to be bright, as you can tell, and it gives off fruity notes, okay? And quite honest, I'm not seeing no carbonation on here. See, this is what I'm working with here, see that? That's what I'm working with, see? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing nothing in this. Okay, the head, it's disappeared. Mm, yeah, I think I'm getting some of the amarillo off of this. Oh. Yeah. And it's getting kind of fruity a little bit here. So, let's see how this bad boy tastes. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. No, that's, no, that is nice. Well, this is really good. I'm really digging this one. <clears throat> Yep, yeah, definitely an IPA taste, and you're getting, this, you're getting the combination of it, and hold on, hold on, let me recheck. Yeah, this is a, yeah, I can see why they gave it a 55 IBU. It's really better. And, and you know, I checked their website and they never mentioned anything about uh, citra, but it tastes like it has citra in it and it's pretty bitter. It has like a. Yeah, it's better. And it, I'm not saying it. It lingers on the tongue, 
like forever but it does kind of stay there for a little bit okay maybe about 10 to 15 seconds after sipping maybe 20 tops and, and all that hops and malts blend in so well it's actually good and <clears throat> I picked this up because I figured since it was that time of year why not you know so it's like 45 degrees right now before I check my app and they're talking that for I think if I remember right and like the low 30s as a high on Christmas on Friday. So it's definitely going to be cold for us out here in Michigan. And, you know, I don't know about anybody else that watches this show. But where, or about you guys in snow and where you live. But with us being here in Michigan, surrounded by the lakes, we have a tendency of getting a lot of lake effect snow here. And, you know, I know I've mentioned it in some of my previous videos, but sometimes you got the mint and you got the upper peninsula. Now, the upper peninsula gets way more snow than what we get from the mint, generally from here down. I mean, we get our, I guess, fair share of snow, but it's nothing like the UP, okay? And that's a lot. I mean, a lot. So, <clears throat> I remember being a kid, and, God, that's a long time ago, and it ended up being that of, they used to get, like, feet of snow up there, and I'm talking feet as in F-E-E-T, feet, when we would get inches of snow. <clears throat> so, so, yeah. This one, that's good. That's good. I mean, it's a little too bitter f for my liking. I mean, when they were talking about how they had yeast in this stuff, my first thought was like uh, the Bell's Beers Oberon, where they had yeast in it, which makes me wonder. Okay, I can't see nothing in the bottom of the can here. As far as like residual yeast, but this beer is good until uh, March of 2021. So you can tell this one's really good to have and it's really fresh, which is kind of well, I mean, it's not why I picked it up, but going by the name Accumulation, that's why I picked it up here in Michigan. We have a tendency of getting a lot of accumulation of snow out here. Um, I get that Zo Zoic Amarillo in here. Look at not so much, not so much. You know, I you know I hate to say it, I'm a smoker, and maybe I shouldn't. Maybe quit, or at least not as smoke as much, or not smoke as much as I do. To taste this stuff, but a lot of this stuff I maybe will pick out. So, but then again, they do say if you want to get like the full effect of the beer, let it sit out and warm up a bit. So, yeah. Well, I guess it's time for the rating, guys. So let's see. You know what? I've got to give this one a 6.5 rating. It's good. I'll drink it on occasion, but I don't know. This one is okay to me. So, I mean, it looks nice. A lot of the other ones I've drinking that are uh, IPAs, they look more like a grapefruit or orange, like orange juice, like type of color. So, 
you know, this does look like a watered down grapefruit type of color to me. It actually does. Like grape, uh, yeah, grapefruit juice. Watered down. So, 6.5 rating. So, yeah. Excuse me, you guys know how I get what I'm drinking. So, like I've always said, hey guys, hey, try as possible. Don't do nothing stupid. Peace out, brother man. Peace out, sister girl. And I'll see you next time on the next PC's Beer Review. So. PC's going to drink some beers to so take a seat, baby. Have no fear. He will certainly bring that cheer. So sit down and don't move that rear. PC's.